If you guys have been watching my channel for really any length of time, you will know that um, your girl has a lot of clothes. As someone who does have a decent influx of clothing because of my job, I feel like I have to really stay on top of it and purge my closet pretty often just to keep things nice and fresh and so I'm not like sitting here drowning in clothes like I did for my last closet purge. That was overkill. I live in a very old Los Angeles apartment so the closet is atrocious and when I say closet I mean seven different areas throughout the house where my clothing continually lies. If I had a normal sized closet this would not be an issue at all whatsoever but because I feel like I have such a small closet space and literally everything I own either needs to be hung up and I'm not joking an area this big like less than a foot wide or it needs to fit in a dresser and so it's just kind of hard when this is your job and it would not even be an issue if I just had a closet to put it all in. Like for example, my old apartment had a decent sized closet, had my half, Drew had his half, and we were happy as clams. So I'm gonna go through all these different areas and purge the shit out of my closet. Hopefully you enjoy it. I'm gonna be listing some of these items on Poshmark so make sure you're following me on there, but the rest of them are gonna get donated. I didn't really specify that in the last video and a lot of people came for me, but the 90% majority of these items will be donated. Just a few things I'll throw on Poshmark as well because I know a lot of you guys have seen me thrift these items or seen me purchase these items and maybe will want a chance to make some new memories in them So okay enough talking wow, I could just keep talking if you let me so let's continue and purge some closet space Slash dresser slash under my bed slash hallway area you get it. Let's go. All right, so the first place we will start is in my actual closet Which as you can see this is how much room I have to get in my closet Hi! I have all of my shoes stored right here, as well as like probably 90% of Drew's. He has some under the bed. So let's measure here. From here to here, this much space is how much room I have to hang my clothes in here. It would be impossible for you guys to see all of it, so I'm actually, I think, just gonna take all of it out. Especially because we're in a change, excuse me. On. Especially because we're in a change of season, so I feel like I want to switch out some of the sweaters. It's definitely getting warmer in LA, so this will be a good time to switch everything over. So, okay, let's move everything <laughs> to the bed. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Help. Well, here we are again. I don't know how this always happens to me. All right, so up top here, we have flannels. I wear a lot of flannels around my waist, so I'm pretty much gonna keep all of these. This red one's from Target, I love it. This one I thrifted, it's like an oversized men's like 2XL. This one I got at the Goodwill bins, and it's good, but it's not the best one in the world, and I feel like somebody else could probably enjoy it a bit more, so this might be my first item. Ooh, I just remembered I got a collapsible laundry basket from Target to put all of this in because then when I'm done with it, I can just put it under the bed. I'm a genius. So here it is. I've already got some items for donation in there. So I will just go ahead and add this. Oh, dog hair. To the donate pile. This one is amazing. I've worn it in a recent video. It's from American Eagle. It's more just like a cropped one that I wear as a shirt. Keeping that. I will always keep this one. It's so cute. It reminds me of Cher from Clueless and it is from Wild Fable. It's like an oversized one, but I got it on thread up. I love that. This one I'll never get rid of because it's so sentimental to me. This is actually a flannel that Drew wore when we first started working together. He wore it like every single day. So this is like 11 years old at this point. He might have even had it for longer. There actually are like completely worn out elbows on both sides, but I just love it. It's so nostalgic for me. Just makes me think of like when we worked together when we were 21 and I just had the biggest crush on him. So when he was purging his own closet and he was like, I'm gonna get rid of this, I was like, absolutely never. So I don't really ever wear it, it just kind of sits in my closet. This is a shimmy shake top that my friend Macy gifted to me that I haven't quite figured out how to style yet, but we'll hang on to it. This one is so cute, it's a Moose Creek shirt. I had a vision to wear this with like a black tube top underneath with some mom jeans and just wear it open like this, but I never got to wear it. And honestly, if I haven't by now, I probably won't, so I'm gonna... Get rid of that guy. Sorry, friend. This is a dress that Jess thrifted for me for our Secret Santa Christmas thrift swap. And I need her to like sew it for me because we're going to do like an off the shoulder moment. So I'm going to set that aside so she can remember to do that. Next, we've got sweaters. And I'm pretty much going to keep all of these until next year. I'm not really going to make any decisions on sweaters because I can worry about that next year. So I'm basically just going to fold them all up. And then the next thing we will do is go to the under the bed storage. And then we'll just kind of like swap swap everything out from there, you know. I 
I am actually going to go ahead and donate this one. I got it at the Goodwill bins and it's so, so cute. It's like this little grandma sweater, but it's too hot now. And I don't know, I like, I just kind of got it as an impulse cause it was so cheap and I want someone else to love it more. So that's gonna go to the donate pile. I also added a couple more to that one cause I just knew I wasn't gonna wear them next year. I'm also keeping like two very light sweaters and they're spring colors. So I have this like baby blue one that I got from BB. I thrifted this when I was with my friend Macy when I was in Santa Monica. And then this Abercrombie one is yellow. It's like a really cute off the shoulder. And these are both light so I could wear them maybe like in the morning. Okay, cool. So then this is all that's going back in the closet for right now. I'm gonna put these donations aside, slash Poshmark, whatever, I'll decide later. I'll start putting these back in the closet. <laughs> we have an empty one here as well. First, I'm gonna go through this and just see what I have left. A lot of this is like holiday stuff, so I'm just gonna leave it. But a lot of it can go back in my drawers because it's getting warmer again. It literally feels like shopping. <laughs> forgotten that I had these clothes so it's quite fantastic actually totally forgot about this great so I think I'm gonna move the Christmas stuff into this one because there's significantly less of this also my pumpkin Halloween costume which is the only one from my Amazon video that I did not return I wanted to keep it Oh yeah, that just feels so much better already. I might keep this out in case I need to add a little more. Oh my God, the dog hair and dust that just came off of that thing. Yikes. This one can for sure go back because I don't need access to my Christmas stuff anytime soon. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to tackle my dresser next or the closet because I have a bunch of random loose shit in my closet and it's low key really stressful. Oh my God. All right, so let's go through this. This is like my last year's summer clothes. I feel like this will be a good place to start. Okay, this boohoo skirt is so cute. I wore it in Hawaii, but I probably won't wear it again this summer. Love this Target dress. Wore it a couple times, seriously so cute, but someone else should have it. Gonna keep this Hollister wrap dress. Very, very cute. Loved this nasty gal moment. Oh, she was really cute. But again, someone else should have it. I've gotta part ways with these because they're all precious, but I just need to make room for other things that I love. So we have this little romper, this mauve one gonna put that on Poshmark because it's so cute I got it at Express my leopard romper from H&M I love this thing so much I've worn this with so many band tees underneath or I've just worn it on its own but again someone needs to enjoy it I'm gonna keep this little guy this is a cotton on dress it's kind of like a faux wrap dress and it's a spaghetti strap dress it's so cute this maxi someone else can have it this yellow Express dress <sighs> So cute, I got to wear it like one time. Maybe I'll keep it for like one more go. This one from Cotton On, freaking precious. Wore it so much, loved it. But again, gotta make room for new stuff this year. This little romper from, where's this from? American Eagle, I got it on thread up. It's really cute. It's only a size large. I might need to wear more of like an extra large now. I might try it on. We'll say, we'll say maybe on that one. This Hollister dress was precious. I love this purple. It's so cute, but it is just a tiny bit small. I kind of need more like an XL now. So we're gonna say goodbye to her. American Eagle two piece. Goodbye friend. Now we're into shorts. Okay, I totally forgot about all of this. These I never wear anymore. They're like little, I think they call them flippy shorts. Like how precious are these? They've got like a floral print. Just never get to wear them. Have some curvy high rise shorts that are size 14 from AE. I've never worn them. The tags are still on them. I'm a little embarrassed. We have my go-to everyday gap cutoffs that I thrifted. These were like three dollars gonna keep those for sure got these from madewell again with the tags on them i haven't worn them yet so need to do that got these boohoo cutoffs which i used to get so many questions about these are really cute but i'm gonna move on from those i also really liked these old navy ones because they're like slightly ever so slightly longer which made them a little more comfy but i think i'm gonna mm, I'll hold on to those for a little longer. Then I'm actually gonna add to this little shorts drawer slash bin my two overall shorts. So we're gonna organize that a little better. These things will all go in my drawers 
out there. But in the meantime, I gotta work on these drawers. <laughs> okay, so this part of my room is kind of a disaster. It's a little scary. This drawer isn't too terrible. So I have like overalls. I have like random pants that I've literally never worn. These are so cute and I actually love the way they look on, but every time you have to go pee, you have to unbuckle these. I just don't know if it's worth it for me. So. They gotta go. I have two overall dresses here from American Eagle. I'll keep those. And then I have my kind of like punky pants in the middle. So I have these ones that I got, I think on thread up from Target. I think most of these are from Target actually. I wore these houndstooth ones on Valentine's Day in my thrifting video where I went with Macy, but these don't fit me perfectly. So I'm gonna give those away. I got these at the Goodwill bins. I really wanna take this chain off though. Cause it's like quite obnoxious, but. We'll hold on to those for the time being. And these blue ones are just, oh, my babies. I love those. There we go. Look at that. How organized. Okay, next. This one's not as good. Like, this is a random sweater. Haven't gotten to wear it yet because it's been too hot, but we'll get there. So this is like dresses and skirts in this one. And I have a lot of these that I haven't even gotten to wear yet. I have faith that I'll get to wear a decent amount of them. So like this leopard one, I love her. This black one, I feel like is like, classic so i gotta hold on to that this black one was part of a set and the top was too small and now the skirt is great but i just feel like there are other ones i like better so she's gonna go i thrifted this one as well i just never get to wear it and so i want someone else to be able to wear it this i never wore these okay so now we're into like more slip dresses this black one from american eagle with the tags still on it that will get donated this one will get donated there aren't like many that i love 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 anymore or that i've just worn a lot of times and gotten my wear out of and this is great because it gives me room for other things in the future now we have okay this is a jeans drawer. So I have actually already gone through this drawer and put everything aside and I will show you the jeans that I already went through that need to be donated. It's a lot. Okay, this pile is like, okay, for example, this is a dress, a wrap dress that I ordered from Poshmark that's originally from Reformation, still has the tags on it, but it is way too small for me, so it's gotta go. This is a cutie little Madewell top, I'll keep this. This is probably the saddest thing I'll ever say in my life, but for those of you who watched my Reformation video with Alexa, I ended up keeping the last pair of jeans, and that's this pair. They're probably the cutest pair of jeans I've ever worn in my entire life, but unfortunately, after wearing them one time, they were like, I could pull them off of me. Like, they stretched out so bad so these are better fitted for someone who's more like a size 16 because these fit great in the beginning and then throughout the day they stretch out so now i have to put them on poshmark spent like a hundred dollars on these jeans and wore them one time i have a pair of mom jeans that i've never worn ordered those on poshmark for free so it's not you know the end of the world i have kind of like a cut off mom jean pair i still have to try these on actually so We'll worry about that later. A pair of airy leggings that are too small. Still have the tags on those. This Madewell top is so, so cute, but it just doesn't fit me right. I just feel like I look kind of weird in it. I'm gonna give that to someone who really wants it. This Wild Fable pair, this like paper bag. I love them. I just never get a chance to wear them. None of the tops I really have go with them. I have two American Eagle skinnies. They're both like really ripped up and really stretchy and they're amazing. My American Eagle flare jeans, which I love to death, but they're just not quite high-waisted enough for me. Again, <laughs> Here we find ourselves in this position. You guys, I don't know how this happens, but I ordered a pair of jeans from Good American. They were size 14. I washed them one time. They shrunk like three sizes. So I sold them on Poshmark and then I picked up another pair, which were a size 16. I shrunk them in the wash. This is how tiny they are. <laughs> For a size 16, they're just so, so tight and they just don't fit. So I've got to sell these as well. And I'm really, really sad about it. Okay. Gonna put those in the Poshmark slash donation pile. I've actually overflowed, so I will now <laughs> spill it all over my floor and then put in this bag. <sighs> okay, and last but not least, I have this situation, which I'm quite embarrassed about. I just, yeah, I don't wanna talk about it. We're just gonna have to go through it, okay. I would say if anything, like wardrobe wise, this is definitely like my dump pile i just kind of like put whatever i'm not sure about in this drawer so this i just thrifted as kind of like an undershirt type of situation so 
put that there. Just got this on Poshmark. It's so cute. So I'll like put it with my little blousey tops section. This I got on Poshmark. It's so cute, but I'm never going to wear it. It's just too tight. I just don't like tight shirts anymore. So that can go on Posh. Just got this on Poshmark. Not 100% sure if I'm going to wear it yet, but had a bunch of credits. I just thrifted this and I really wanted to believe that a size small would fit me, which it does kind of, but it's just too tight. So someone else that's more like a size small can wear that. This guest top I'm keeping forever. It's thrifted. I love it. It's vintage. That shirt was a gift from a friend, but it is too small. I love this. I got this at the Goodwill bins. It's such a cute shirt, but I've worn it a bunch of times and Someone else should wear it. This Madewell top, I'm never getting rid of. I always get so many questions about it. It is from Madewell. Put my Layla's butt back there, it's fine. This Tommy Hilfiger shirt, I was duped on Poshmark. It's not my favorite and I know one of you would probably love it, so that's where it's gonna go. I got this at the bins, which I really, really wanted to work. It's very oversized on me. It's a Hot Topic size five, which I believe is a size five and plus sizes. It's really cute, it's like a tunic, but it just doesn't fit me right, so one of you guys can have it. Again, more blouses that I haven't even gotten to wear yet. That's an American Eagle one that can go. I'm so hunched over for this. This is not good for my posture. This is such a cute combo that Leah thrifted for me when we went to like quite literally the worst thrift store we've ever been to and I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. I feel like I should hang it upstairs. Oh. Alexa thrifted this for me and it's so so cute but it's just too tight so it's gonna have to get donated. I'm devastated about it. And then what I will do is add the tank tops from last summer. These are just kind of like my everyday throw and go tanks as I like to call them. I guess we're moving on to the next one. Oh guys. Oh my God, there's something back there. Oh, there's more clothes. Sweater, didn't even know I had. What is wrong with me? Now we can move on to this one. These airy pants that I should have bought in a size XL. I bought them in a size large. I just want them to be a little looser. They're like lounge pants. These I never wear. What we got here? Oh, genuinely, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Didn't even know I bought this. I almost bought this at Target the other day. Okay. These are awesome leggings. I love these. These are my new bikey shorts. Jonas Brothers t-shirt is everything. I bought these leggings again in the wrong size and then took them out of the package before I even tried them on and they don't fit. They're too small. So again, goodbye. Okay, so I need to put like workout clothes separate from sleep clothes because that's usually the issue I run into. More bike shorts. That goes upstairs. That goes upstairs. It really teaches you a lot about yourself to go through your closet to be honest. All right, last but not least, we have the pajamas slash underwear drawer. I don't know why, I think because I have so many pajamas, they've kind of just like overflowed to this drawer. You don't really need to see me going through my pajamas and underwear, so let's just speed up through this part. Whew. All right, we did it. I'm gonna go eat dinner. We survived, folks. See ya. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check down below. My Poshmark is linked down there if you want to purchase any of the items that I mentioned in this video. If you have any suggestions for charities that take clothing, specifically in the LA area, I would love to know because I'm always trying to branch out and try new places when I am making my donations. I just want to make sure that the clothes go to a much needed home. Let me know if you want me to continue doing this more frequently because I do it off camera a lot, but I really do enjoy filming it as well. So you guys will have to let me know. I love you guys so, so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.